I know one of the cops over there, he filled me in. Please tell me it's a publicity stunt. No such luck. According to Sergeant McGill, the guy's a whack job, went in the first national dress like Ben Franklin, said he had a gun. Walked out with 100 grand. Then he thought as fast as a getaway would be up there? Uh, well, he heard the sirens, panicked, and that's where he ended up. I mean, how bad could it be for a guy to want to end up in the asphalt in a few hundred pieces? Well, are they going to get a crisis counselor up there for him? They already put a call out, but apparently the counselor's tied up with a hostage situation over in South oh, Philly. Would you say the sergeant's name was McGill? Yeah. Right. Jack. Hey, stay back. You're in charge, right? You're just yeah. going to let this guy jump? This is a friend of mine, Jack Snyder. I already let him know you put a call into the crisis counselor, so let's let Sergeant McGill do his job. Yeah, let's. Did it ever occur to you that your jumper might not want to wait for your counselor? There's got to be something you can do down here besides sit on your hands. What the hell do you know about it? More than you. All right, excuse right. us. Right. Sorry to bother you. Get him back. Man, what are you doing getting in the man's sorry, face I'm like sorry, that? I see the guy up there just got to me. OK, you're right. It's not my jurisdiction. Take that. I need to go anyway. Is it just Hang on, you need to have a cup of coffee and talk, right? I, 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 I've got some paperwork to catch up on, okay? And obviously, you're very busy some other time. Look, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Ben. Best of luck with the food bank, okay? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm on my way, all right? Yeah. You take care of yourself, all right, Jack? I'll do that. Oh, Brad, I said, hey. Get back, I'm gonna jump! Get back, I'm gonna jump! Excuse me. Excuse me. There is no way that Jack knew about your affair and didn't tell me. Yes, because you were locked away in that place and you weren't talking to anybody. And we were all trying and obviously failing to do what was best for you. For yourselves, you mean? Jackson like that. He would not let you blindside me like that. I'm going after No, no, no. Just give her some time. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't cry. Hi. Oh, hi, Carly. Hi. I heard you were back, Conan. That's quite a homecoming. I can't tell you how sorry I was to hear about what happened to Brad. Yeah. Uh, what can I do for you? Is Jack here? There's something I need to know. I'm afraid it's gonna have to wait. It's kind of important. It always is. With you, Carly, it always is, but he's not here. Well, when you see him, will you, will you have him call me, please? Why don't you call him? I did. Go straight to voicemail. Oh. Damn it. Did Jack happen to mention anything to you about Rosanna and Craig having a thing? <sighs> yes, he did. Oh, God. Oh, I don't believe it that he knew and that you knew and Parker knows. Is there anybody in this car who doesn't? You know what? Sometimes it's not all about you, okay? Okay. Tell Jack I came by. Wait, I can't. I can't tell him. He's not here. Brad's dead and Jack is off somewhere licking his wounds and he's not returning my calls. So I'm really sorry if I don't give a damn about who your boyfriend's sleeping with. I mean it. I'll do it. I'll jump. I wish you wouldn't. Stay away from me. You, you stop or, or I'll jump. Man, you call yourself Ben Franklin? Yeah, what's, what's it to you? I happen to be a fan of Franklin's. I know for a fact that there's no way that he would think jumping off the roof of a building is any way to keep yourself healthy, wealthy, or wise.
Snyder, damn it, come down from there! Sounds like your friends down below are talking to you. Yeah, well, A, they're not my friends, and B, I'm ignoring them. Quite a view from up here. Definitely gives you a new perspective. Ah, you can save your spiel, whatever it is. I'm not coming down unless it's head first. I believe you. Think maybe I can hang on to your hundred grand when you jump? What kind of a cop are you? You said I'm a cop. Don't say. You look like one. <laughs> Still? I was hoping it might have worn off by now. Used to be a cop. Now I'm just a man from Illinois who's as messed up as you are. Uh, what'd you do? Wh why do you ask? What are you gonna tell me? What, that things aren't as bad as they seem? If I just give it some time, things will work out okay? Well, isn't this something that you should be saying to me? Why would I? Would you buy it? Now, there's nothing down there for me anymore. I know the feeling. What are you doing? I want to thank you for sharing your roof with me, Mr. Franklin. The name's not Franklin. It's Finsterwald, Irv Finsterwald. Well, it's nice to know you, Irv. I'm Jack. I'm really sorry about Jack. But maybe not answering his voicemail as his way of saying, find me. Oh, come on. We both know that's not his M.O. Look for him anyway. What have you got to lose? My daughter thinks that Jack murdered her father. I can't just leave her here alone. I can't just go off to God knows where. Well, she knows that the shooting was an accident, doesn't she? Of course she does. But, <laughs> you know, she doesn't want to see it that way. Jack was drinking before Brett got shot. No. Jack would never drink on duty. That would never happen. There has to be some kind of mistake here. He was here. off that night. He was officially off. But when he got the phone call and found out Katie was in trouble, of course he had to go. He's not responsible officially. But Liberty knows about the beers. Parker knows. And Jack especially knows. Well, it's no wonder he's punishing himself. He didn't live up to his own code of conduct. Exactly. Yeah, something like that. He needs you. Now more than ever. Please don't tell me what my husband needs. Uh, sorry. Besides, Jack doesn't seem to want my help, and that's what hurts most of all. I, I gotta get dinner on the table. I'll leave you to it. 